I lived my whole life dreaming I could marry a girl like Brooke. We have gathered today to witness this union between Thomas and Brooke. We commit them to you for your care and your blessings. Thank you for making the effort to be here as we are all witnesses to a sacred ceremony based on love and developed through commitment. I tried hard to put into words how I feel about Brooke. What I've ended up with is a disorganized list of random observations about her. She hates that I can't clean house as good as she can. She loves window shopping more than any normal person. She consistently goes out of her way to help people without expecting anything in return. She's one of the kindest people I know. Most important of all, she's the best mother to our beautiful daughter, Abby Adele Moore. To say I'm proud of you is an understatement, but to say your accomplishments and achievements in life thus far is a surprise to me would be a lie. Thomas, you're one of the most genuine, kind-hearted, loving, hard-working daddies, fathers, and soon-to-be husbands that I know. Um, Thomas, I couldn't pick the better partner myself for. You're wonderful. I've felt like family since the first day I met you. And I, and I couldn't picture anybody else that I would want with her. There's no doubt in my mind that Thomas will take care of my daughter, Brooke and Abby. There's no doubt. Brooke, I hope you understand exactly what you have sitting beside you. There's not many guys out there like Thomas. I can promise you. been a blessing to raise. Brooke will always be my princess. That's for sure. And you're so beautiful and sweet and extremely protective. Beautiful lady I've ever seen. Will you, Thomas, Love you. take Brooke to be your lawfully wedded wife? Yes, I will. I will. Will you, Brooke, take Thomas to be your lawfully wedded husband? I will. Take this ring. Take this ring. And with it, my promise. And with it, my promise. Of faith patience and love for the rest of my life. Faith, patience, and love for the rest of my life. Put it on your finger, buddy. You did good. <laughs> <laughs> These old boys in the South are a little slow. <laughs> Man, Brenda's been waiting on this for 10 years. <laughs> been a long time. I hope that they have a family like me and Brenda. We've been married 36 years. Congratulations, guys. Brooke and Thomas, y'all both are so special to my family. Y'all know that, Mr. Joey, Ms. Brenda, Nene, we love y'all so much. You know, ever since we met, they, they brought us in as family. And Treat us like family. I can say that these two, being in my life, have made me a much better person than I ever thought. Y'all have, have made me who I am today. 
And I'm glad I can be the person I am for Thomas. You're the reason that we're here. Every single person in this room knows the reason that you're here today. It's because you love us and we love you equally the same. Now by virtue of the power in me vested, I now declare you husband and wife, you may kiss your bride. You're going to have a great life. I'm always going to support you and encourage you to love one another, forgive fast, and just take chances and bet on each other because that's the first person that's going to make it right. I consider myself the luckiest man to be married to such a wonderful woman, and I always will. I cherish every moment I spend with you and Abby, and I look forward to spending the rest of our lives together. Could everybody please, before she changes her mind, Raise your glasses, my outstanding wife, Brooke. I bet Thomas, I said, man, that girl there and that blonde, that brown haired girl, they look good, man. They're wearing Daisy Dukes, cowboy boots, looking good. I said, Thomas, I bet you a dollar you can't get that girl in the blonde's number. Um, I want you to know Thomas is the only guy that ever got my real number out there. All I can say, son, is bless your heart. God be with you. He said, yeah, she's 17. How do I tell Joey about this? <laughs> I said, dude. So I just told him to run, but. Got to my son's mommy and daddy. Be like to go play. Be like. Be like. When they said they couldn't find you, I was like, oh gosh, he's done ran off. <laughs> Y'all better go get him. <laughs>